Um, it's interesting that that question comes from a man, because maybe you'd have to be a woman to get, you know, exactly what this is all about. And right now, I look at our federal parliament and I see one woman in our federal cabinet and 19 men, and if that alone isn't enough to tell you that women are not being selected on merit, because there are a lot of very talented women in the coalition who didn't get a look in. Tony Abbott said there's a lot of them knocking on the door. Well, Tony Abbott needs to understand they're not there to sell Avon. <laughs> They've actually got talent that needs to be recognised. And, and there was also the argument put forward that they don't have the experience. Well, experience only comes when you get a chance in the first place. And that comes from taking a chance. Um, and obviously for members of the coalition, you know, it's, they see it as a big risk. But there are very talented women in the coalition who really should get an opportunity. And the great pity about that 1 to 19 ratio is for the first time this country had a female foreign minister. And that was completely overlooked in, in Julie Bishop achieving that, um, that situation. Sorry, you want to speak? I'm not arguing against that, but what I am arguing against is, is this idea of a quota system. But the trouble is if you don't have a quota system, it is clear that women end up being ignored.